now he's broken it all apart and we had a really good look at it he picked it up and it certainly is quite fresh there is definitely he's eaten it over the last little bit and i have a theory that yesterday afternoon when we saw him i was commenting that it looked as though he possibly had something to eat yesterday because during the day because his tummy was fuller than what i thought it would be by that time of the day and i think maybe he killed this yesterday afternoon went to twin dams for water and then yesterday he slowly meandered back and now this afternoon he's found it again and is playing around that's what my theory is because the meat inside there is still quite pink so i would imagine it's from yesterday's meal but there it is he's discarded it what have you got there now you've got a bit of a leg or something that he's busy clawing at what are you playing with now unfortunately i can't really go any further forward i'm already lodged on a stump so it's going to be interesting to try actually get out of here so let's just see where he goes no he's decided back to the carapace we're going or to the plastron one of the two it depends on which side it is there we go justin you're wondering if tortoise jerky is any good well justin i can honestly say i've never had it but if you're a leopard apparently it is very tasty seems as though he's enjoying his little snack and enjoying eating it you can see look there look how red and pink that meat is so i'm sure that he's had something now the franklins behind me are still complaining bitterly so i don't know i wonder if maybe tundi's not coming back here i hope it's not the sticks that have moved closer with the crunching on this tortoise shell but it certainly is some franklins behind me that are not impressed at all and they cert they can't see little tumber from where they are it must be another animal that's moving there it's not like they're going crazy crazy so it could be you can see look look how he's looked over his shoulder now yes you need to be careful today because with this wind blowing his hearing is going to be severely compromised he's going to have bushes moving and grass moving and he's not going to be able to hear things walking as easily so he needs to keep his wits about him while he's feeding off this and particularly tortoise shells because they make a lot of noise when being fed upon i think he's lucky that there is the wind is blowing the right direction that it's blowing from where the sticks are to him rather than the opposite way around much like what we saw this morning in fact it's actually blowing more in a northerly direction than anything else Dennis you want to know if leopards can hunt big animals well most certainly Dennis the largest animal that I've personally seen was a two-year-old giraffe that was killed by Tingana and Moya so they were mating together and they managed to bring down a giraffe that was about two years old so that is a really large animal and I've heard I've seen photographs of leopard bringing down baby elephants and baby rhinos as well and baby hippos so leopards most certainly do go after large animals but you can see now why we're saying that that is fresh there's actually bits of sinew there over his paw and bits